Hey, art friends, we're so glad we're, we're, we're live again, and we're excited to draw with them, aren't we? Uh -huh. Tell them you love them. We love you. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we love you guys so much. And before we start our draw, what are we drawing today? A corgi. Yeah, we're going to draw a cute corgi, and I even got my corgi shirt on. <laughs> He's in space. <laughs> But before we do, so before we do that, we got to spotlight our, our art friend, mm -hmm. one of our art friends, except two art friends, Connor and River. River. Yeah, Connor and River. And they did our challenge from yesterday. They drew a treasure chest and they also drew a pirate next to their treasure chest. I love mm -hmm. their drawings. Yeah. Which one's your, uh, look at all the drawings behind them. Whoa. Which one is your favorite out of all the drawings behind? Probably the heart emoji. The heart emoji. You know which one I really like? What? I love the snowman up in the top right corner. Oh yeah. He's got two heads, one stacked on top of the yeah. other one. <laughs> Congratulations, Connor and River, on being our artist spotlight in this in today's lesson. So are you ready to draw a corgi? Uh -huh. We hope you guys have your art supplies ready. You got your marker, some paper, and some colorings. Yep. Yep. Corgi's your favorite? Yeah. One of your favorites? One of my favorites. One of your favorites? What's your favorite dog? Mm, German Shepherd. A German Shepherd. We're going to have to draw that one. Yeah. That would be way cool. Okay, let's first start by drawing our Corgi's eyes. We're going to draw them in the top left of our paper, but not too high because Corgi's are cute and short <laughs> and, <laughs> and kind of long and small. Yeah. So we're going to draw two circles, and this is for Corgi's eyes. I'm going to draw them. Oh, I'm drawing really big. I didn't mean to draw them that big, but that's okay. <laughs> there you go. And one right next to it. <laughs> and then we're going to draw smaller circles in the top right so our corgi's eyes look shiny and friendly. And then we're going to color in the big circle, but leave the smaller circles white. Now, even though this is a live lesson, remember you guys can pause the video and rewind it. If you haven't got your supplies ready or you're just joining us, you can always rewind the video. Okay, now we're going to draw our corgi's nose right in between these two eyes but towards the bottom. So in between, we're going to draw an oval like that, and then we're going to color it in. So we do it right in between but towards the bottom of the eyes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a cute nose. Okay, now we're going to draw, now we're going to draw the mouth. We're going to draw a W, a curved W. We're going to go up like this. And then down and back up. For his mouth. For his mouth. His cute little cartoon mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to draw a mouth different than we usually do for our dogs. We're going to draw open with the tongue sticking out. So we're going to draw the bottom of the mouth. We're going to draw a curve that comes down, but it's not going to go all the way. We're going to stop halfway. Just so the tongue can stick out. Yeah, <laughs> now we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw you coming down. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Watch this. It's gonna come down like this. So it's letter U, but then it's gonna keep going around and then back <laughs> into the mouth. It looks like the tongue sticking out, huh? Yeah. So quick down, back up. Yeah, and then yeah, you did it. <laughs> oh, now, now we're gonna imagine this line going underneath the tongue and then connecting back up into the top of the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Now let's color in the, the mouth black, but leave the tongue white. And then also we're going to, uh, we're going to add a little line down the middle of our corgi's tongue. So right here, we're going to draw a little line that comes right down the middle. Oh my gosh. That's super <laughs> cute. Now you could use those steps actually for any cute animal. You could do it for any type of dog or a puppy. Mm -hmm. You could even do it for a different kind of animal. Like, uh, a cat, <laughs> except I don't think cats stick their tongues out as much. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's draw the rest of our corgi's uh, head. We're going to draw two lines, one on each side. We're going to draw starting right by the eye, and it's going to come down on each side. Yeah. All right, now we're going to draw the bottom of the corgi's uh, head. We're going to draw, first we're going to draw little zigzags that stick out of the side on each cheek. So we're going to draw three little A shapes, sideways V's on each side. Yeah. And then we're going to connect the bottom. Watch <laughs> this. We're going to come all the way down, connect all the way over to the other side. He's so funny. <laughs> yeah, he's super fun. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to draw the top of our Corgi's head. We're going to draw another curve that goes over 
But look where I started. I started right above the left eye and ended right over the right eye. And it's curved, perfect. And we're leaving this little gap here so that we can draw our corgi's ears. So we're gonna, oh, yeah. Rule number one. Always add eyelashes. Always add eyelashes, yes. And then we're gonna draw the ears. <laughs> we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go up, they have these really tall pointy ears and then we're gonna come back down. Yeah. Yeah, now we're <laughs> gonna draw the same shape on the other side. We're gonna come up like this and then back down. Oh my gosh, super cute. Corgis are one of the cutest dogs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw the inside of the ear. We're gonna start right here in the top and we're gonna curve down. And let's do that on the other side also. Down. Down. And down. And down. And then we're gonna draw an M, the letter M, for the inside. There's a little fuzzy fur inside of our corgi's ears. Yeah, and then we can draw another curve that comes up and connects to the outside of the ear. We did it. We did it. We finished our corgi's ears and mm -hmm. the head. Yep. What should we draw next? The body. The body. Okay, let's first draw her chest. We're going to draw a zigzag curve. It's going to come down like this, and we're going to do like three zigzags or maybe a couple more. It's going to curve down. I'm going to do one more. There we go. Oh, really furry. I like it. And then you can also do add one more curve that comes down like this okay. so that we can draw the leg next to it. So we're going to draw a short line because they have short legs, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, hey, we got, we got a little donation from Mythical. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. $2. Hopefully, yeah, there it is, popped up on our screen. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the rest of our, our leg for our corgi, the first leg. We're going to draw another line right back here. So we draw two lines, same distance. That's really awesome. Thank you, Mythical. <laughs> All right, okay, now we're going to draw the foot. We're going to draw a little curve that comes down like this for the front of the foot. Then we're going to draw a curve that comes back around and connects into the back of the leg. Okay, <laughs> let's add the two. <laughs> Do you like your drawing? Yep. It's, it's making you giggle. Okay, now we're going to add two little lines for the toes. All right, she needs to have another front leg. So we're just gonna draw part of, the, part of the leg and part of the foot because it's behind this one that we already drew. So I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out and then in. Super easy to add that second leg. And then we can add, let's just add one little what? toe. Mythical just gave us another $5. Oh, no, no way. And they said, love the vids. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mythical, that's awesome. <laughs> They're one of our awesome art friends. Yep. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's draw, let's draw the belly. We're gonna draw a little belly right here. We're gonna imagine this line, see how it's coming down the chest? Mm -hmm. It's coming behind the legs, and we're gonna draw, and it's not a short line, it's gonna be a little bit longer because corgis have longer bodies. Yep. Yes. Not too long, not like too, a wiener dog. Yeah, like a wiener dog, <laughs> like a dachshund. Okay, now we're gonna draw the back leg. We're gonna draw a curve right here, watch this. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes down. So we'll start right about here and then curve down, connect, and then go past. Yeah, and that's okay, you can, yeah, there you go, connect the belly in. Now we can draw a short line, super short line. Beep. Boop. <laughs> now let's draw the top of our body. We're gonna come back and, and draw the foot at the very end. So here we go, we're gonna draw the back of the neck, a little line that comes down, out of her head, then watch this, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna draw our back, and come around, and then curve at the very end. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. We can curve around, oh, perfect. And then right here, we're gonna draw a little curve that comes out. So this, how about curve it in just a little bit more, and then we'll come back out. There you go, and then out, short line, and then a short line down for the back of the foot, back yeah. of the leg, yeah, down. And then we're gonna draw the foot, low curve, just like we did in the front. And then we're gonna connect, we're gonna draw the bottom and connect back in to the back of the leg. <laughs> All right, what's our foot missing? Um, the other foot. The, the other foot, yeah, we're- Or the toes. <laughs> the, yes, the two toe lines. There we go. 
What they're for me doing. Yeah. Let's take a quick break and just oh, let oh, everybody sure. know that if you're just coming in, you can rewind. Yeah. If you're just joining us, remember you can always pause the video. You can even rewind it. So just remember, I know you guys are leaving lots of comments and we're going to get to them, especially at the end. So just remember that during the lesson, it's a little difficult for us to get to the comments. But if you're just joining us, remember you can always rewind the video and start at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that what you were wanting to say, Ms. Subs? Yeah. And we got Mrs. Hubs helping us. She's checking the comments to tell us if we if there's an emergency too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kate, let's keep going. We're almost done with our little corgi. And while we're coloring, we're going to answer a lot of our art friends questions too. Okay, so let's finish the little foot right here. We're going to draw that leg and then we're going to come down. So a little curve and then a straight line down. Yes. Yeah. And then we're going to draw the front of the foot and then curve in to finish it with one little toe line. Yep. Boop. <laughs> What's our corgi missing? The tail. The tail. Yeah, we're going to draw a little curve that comes up. 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 And then we're going to do zigzags coming down to finish the tail. <laughs> we did it, Hadley. You did a great job on drawing your little corgi. Now, we still need to color her. Now, this is this part's going to be a lot of fun because it just kind of looks like a little puppy. But yeah. once we color it, it's going to look a lot more. Let's first, before we answer some comments, let's first draw some lines to help us color. Mm -hmm. We're going to start up here right on the top of our corgi's head. And we're going to draw a line that comes down towards the nose. Watch this. And then we're going to curve around the nose and connect to the mouth. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yep, curve around and then connect to the mouth. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Curve around, connect to the mouth. Yeah. And then right here, we're going to finish. We're going to continue down and then into the cheeks. And same thing on the other side. Now it's going to look like a corgi. There we go. <laughs> now now let's, add, let's add a little zigzag line for the chest coming down and connecting to the leg. Oh, we're getting so many comments. I love these. And I love all of the requests, too, that we're getting. Hey, so, uh, somebody said that their name's Hadley, too. Uh, oh. Yeah, Jen B says that their name is Hadley, except I, it looks like it's Jen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the bottom of the leg. So a little curve here. And then we need the belly line. And now we're going to draw another curve back here on the back leg. And then let's draw a little zigzag on the tail. Okay, now we're going to color this part brown, this part brown, and we're going to color the top brown, the tail inside right here, and then we're going to color pink inside the ears okay. and the tongue. You ready to color? Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to color this solid, but let's answer some of our friends' questions and some of their requests. Do we have any cool questions, Mrs. Hubs? Uh, let's see. Oh, someone asked if we should, that we should collaborate with Draw So Cute. That would be fun. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. They do a lot of cool drawings. They're all so cute. They got the same eyes. Oh, Jennifer Eigner donated $2. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. And it says Connor and River. Oh, this is Connor and River's. No way. Oh, oh that's so nice of them. We so if you didn't if you're just joining us we spotlighted Connor and River at the beginning of the video we uh, we have challenge so we we extend a challenge to you guys at the very end of the videos and they did such an awesome job and we actually had a lot of people enter the the uh, challenge and they all did awesome and when we picked Connors we we liked uh, how they finished their drawings we liked them all but mm -hmm. we thought it would be fun to spotlight them so thank you guys that means a lot that's really nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, let's see, someone wants, oh my goodness, they're going fast. Okay, someone <laughs> wants to, us to draw a leopard gecko. Whoa. <laughs> okay, write that one down that's, because that one's really cool. Um, Erica Love, the Little Club Reese. That's her name. That's her name? Mm-hmm. They requested that. Okay, leopard gecko. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Look, um, I need a new brown. King Boy was asking. <laughs> it's so short. What kind of pencil you're using? We're using a really small colored pencil, <laughs> super small. Look at that, it's like a baby. This is actually Prisma colored pencils. And if you guys uh, look below this video in the description, we have a bunch of Amazon affiliate links. 
to where you can go over, parents, you can click those links and go over to Amazon and check out all of the art supplies that we like using. So there's a link to the colored pencils, the exact same ones that we use, and also uh, everything else that we like using, oil pastels, watercolors. Let's see, Foxy Fan 4 said, can you draw a French Bulldog? Oh, yes. Have you done a Bulldog? We have done a Bulldog, but French uh, Bulldogs French are bulldog? different. They're a little different, yeah. That would be fun. Okay, write that, we gotta write that one down. Or a Rottweiler. Rottweiler. A Puppy Cookie Ooh. Plays, ask for the Rottweiler. Okay, that would be fun. That would be fun to draw a cartoon, a really cute rot Rottweiler. Let's see. Is that a kind of dog? Yeah, it is a kind of dog. And you know, every time I see a Rottweiler, I'm scared to death of those dogs. They look so tough. And and everybody that I've known that owns one says they're they're one of the kindest dogs too. They're just really oh. they're super protective. <laughs> let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Justin Longfellow wants you to draw Yoda. We've done Yoda. Oh, we have. We've done a really cool Yoda. We've done uh, a cartoon one. And I think we've done a, a one that's not really realistic, but we've done it a couple times. Uh, our, our star said, can you draw a cow? Cow? We have a really cool cartoon cow. Austin did the cow. Yeah, Austin did it. That's one of my, <laughs> I, all of my, all of our lessons are my favorite. That but I cow love that is one. so funny. Yeah, it's super funny. Uh, we should draw a realistic cow, though. We haven't done that. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. Ivana Galan is saying, can you please draw a car? Yeah, we've got a couple cars. What kind of car uh, do they want us to draw? She didn't say. We've got a bunch of car lessons. Oh, we goodness. just recently did a Porsche race car, and that was Porsche. awesome. Porsche. Porsche! I like that word, Porsche. Porsche, I like Porsche. that word, too. <laughs> We're almost done coloring. So oh. get, your, get your... Oh, you still got a little bit. Let's see if you can use your superpowers and color the rest of it super quick. Okay. Okay, let's see Three, it. Three, two, one. Go! I'm gonna I'm gonna color pink on the ears now. Alex, what? Alex LPS. Hold on, he just moved up on here. Was asking for a cre My Little Pony creepy pasta. <laughs> what? <laughs> what creepy How pasta? How would you draw creepy maybe, pasta? Maybe they just misspelled it. My Little Pony. My Little Pony pasta. What? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, Maybe okay. I need to explain that one a little bit more. Vera City Studio says, "Can you do George Washington?" Whoa, we've got an we awesome did. George Washington. Yeah, it's a it's a cute cartoon one. I think Austin did that one too. Done. Oh, let me let me sweep your your corgi. Oh, you did such a good job. Okay, you got to do the pink first or before sweep, we're done. Sweeping your corgi. Yeah, <laughs> sweep your corgi. It's, oh, it leaves a lot of shavings. I don't. I, you can't see the shavings on the camera, but there's a bunch. So we like using that little sweeper because then it, it doesn't smear. So I have a question for our, our friends. Yeah, what's the question for them? So it's going to be summertime, out of school summertime in the next couple of weeks for us. But is that what time it is for everybody else? And if it is, what are you guys going to be doing this summer? Yeah, are you guys homeschooling? Or are you uh, taking a break for the summer if you're homeschoolers? If you are if you go to public schools, what When's your break? Are you guys almost on summer break or are you year round? When we, when summer hits and the kids are out of school, I think we might switch these live broadcasts to the morning. That would be fun to draw in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going around my corgi again. One more time. I'm going to thicken up the lines. So I like doing this. I just like how it looks. Gives it a cool style. Sometimes I go over the line, so I just try yeah. to get, make them darker. Yeah, sometimes when you color over with a, a lighter colored pencil, it makes the black sharpie lines look... Uh, kind of lighter. They don't look as black. Yeah, they, they're not as dark, and so it's fun to go back over them. Now, also remember that when you're using a sharpie, it probably would have been good to mention this at the beginning, but you want to use two sheets of paper so that your marker doesn't soak through the one sheet. And if you're using a sketchbook, a lot of times I like... To, uh, I still like to draw with a Sharpie, but you can take a scratch piece of paper and um, put that in between your sheets, uh, the sheet that you're drawing on, so that you don't ruin one of your sketchbook pages. So that's a little trick I like to, to use. So I'm going to go back to some of these people that are talking about what they're doing this summer. Oh, yeah. So Karis 
Kaino says, I'm going to camp. Oh, awesome. Uh, maybe just a, a, a summer camp. Summer camp. Uh, Trisha Brown says, swimming June 1st. Oh, cool. Uh, Marion Woods says, um, oh, it just... I love swimming. I Swimming's my favorite thing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little, this is black. I'm going to add a little shadow underneath underneath his head so it looks more 3D. Could I use do you want to do that? Yeah, let me get another black piece, black pencil. That's black piece of paper. Black piece of paper, black <laughs> pencil. There we go. And I'm going to even put it over here on the chest a little bit. Look at that. Now it looks like there's a shadow underneath my corgi's head. You can also do that down here on their legs. A little shadow. So I start really dark next to the belly and then get lighter towards the bottom. Not that fun? Mm -hmm. It's a really easy way to add a little shadow. What else are kids doing so, for the summer? Uh, Firehider79 says, I'm going to Legoland. Ooh, what? that sounds fun. That sounds way fun. I've yeah. never been to Legoland and Me Legos either. are one of my favorite things. Kennedy we should go. QQ Thompson, I'm going to Cedar Point. Isn't that back east? Oh, yeah. I think I remember Cedar Point, Cedar Point being back east. Uh, I, Isabella S. I'm going to Germany. Whoa. Germany. That's cool. Uh, where's I'm, the white? Where's the white colored pencil? This isn't really white, but I'm gonna add a little white shiny dot on the nose. Do you want to add a little white shiny mark? Yeah. I'm gonna look at some of these comments yeah, too. Look at some of them. Okay, That's let's fun. see. Uh, we're gonna let me let me look through them really quick. Can you guys draw Thor? Have we drawn Thor? Uh, that's from I Carl. Have. Uh, I have, yeah, I don't think we have. Um, Wolfmaster, let's see. Roblox Kid said, what did they say? I, I lost it. It, goes, it goes so fast, the comments go fast. Draw a card. Can you draw, can you do a cheetah? We've done an awesome cheetah. That would be fun to redraw. Uh, Faith says, I have two wiener dogs. Oh, you're so lucky. Dachshunds are cool dogs. Girl in the background, please give me a shout out. Do you want to say, hey, uh, shout out to Just Rowdy. Say that. Shout out to Just Rowdy. Shout out to Just Rowdy. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, we love looking at all of these comments. It's really cool. Oh, hey, this is from Marion Wood. They said, hey, guys, can you draw Piglet or Winnie the Pooh? <gasps> Piglet. We're going to have to draw Piglet, okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, Hadley, good job on your corgi. You did such an awesome job on coloring. Now, if we ever went too fast, hopefully you could catch up during the coloring. But if... If we went too fast, you guys can always pause the video and rewind it, especially if you're just joining us now. Rewind it, and then you can draw along with us. And then also at the very end, uh, we when this video goes, uh, when it publishes to YouTube, we usually let it go live tomorrow morning. So if you're just catching it now and you want to draw it again, be sure to check tomorrow morning because that's when we'll post it to our channel. All right, Hallie, we're not quite done though, are we? Nope. It's challenge time. We need to challenge our friends something to finish their drawing. Okay. How should they finish their drawing? What should With they add? A background. A background. You could add a background, but we wanted to, I think you forgot. We're going to ask them to add a. Oh, challenge a buddy. Yeah, add a buddy. You got to give your corgi a buddy. They, they're best friends, right? Mm -hmm. They need a best friend. You could draw yourself. You could also draw another animal. You know what I would want to draw? What? A parakeet on his back. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to challenge you guys to give your corgi a buddy. And then, have, and then parents, be sure to post a photo of your kid's drawing on Instagram. And they should use two tags. You remember our art friends are over here? Mm -hmm. But the tags are right here. Can you read those? At Art for Kids. What, what was that? <laughs> we dropped something. <laughs> At Art for Kids Out. And what's the second one? Hash, hashtag. Hashtag. AFK. AFK. H. H. Challenge. Challenge. Yeah, the first. <laughs> it's okay. The words all squished together, so it's kind of hard to read. Huh? AFK. <laughs> challenge. <laughs> the first tag will let us know that you've posted something to Instagram, and the second tag will will put it in a group so that it's easy for us to find your kids' drawings. And we can't wait to see how their corgis turned out and what kind of buddy they added mm -hmm. to their drawing. <laughs> Maybe a moose. A moose. <laughs> that or would be llama. Yeah, a llama. <laughs> 
<laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us. I know we had fun drawing with them, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye.